Yes. We're about going back to Alpine Lover 420. Hmm. Horst has already left. The scolding that Berger gave them yesterday about their lack of results in tracking down the Gorons really got to him. Mm hmm. Go wash up. Good morning, good morning. We can look at that. Is there anything here we can look at? Alright, that's how we walk. It's been a while. Inspect. Sour's thesis. From what I understand, he accepted to work for the Brown Shadow because they were the only ones who would finance his research. What a waste. Mm. He has a nice voice. Goethe's Faust, one of Junta's posh friends, Myrna, Junta. if I remember rightly, turned it into a film about ten years ago. I think the poor chap's dead now, though. <laughs> the poor chap. <laughs> okay. There we go. Let's look at that. Little oh, boots. All those books. No really boots. Horse I said boots. Part of our works of anthropology <laughs> beyond the frontiers of the known world. The march of science knows no bounds for him. What's that? Hard, hard tack. These biscuits don't compare with old Gustav's cooking, but at least they fill you up. Okay. He wants his cookies. Must remember to fill it up before I leave the camp. <laughs> the little jeans. <laughs> it's like the little pants for his bottle. I ought to bring all the equipment together before I take my bag. Oh, you want to open this? What that? I'm so glad Junta lent it to me. I was able to take wonderful pictures behind Berger's back. Hmm. Drawing book. He draws. Oh yeah, of course. He drew um, Dana. Edelweiss. Ah, oh, we know who that is. Origin expedition. If only my hand could write what holds my heart. Oh. Baldayar. Hope I can get back to sketching the valley. But with Berger putting on the pressure at the moment, I doubt it. The letters I got from Dana before leaving Kantar with the expedition. Hmm. It's tough not to be able to receive or give any news since leaving civilization. No chance of me venturing into the mountain without that. Oh, important, huh? Let's close that. Is that everything we need? Mm. Dragon Wrath, thanks for the 18 months. Thank you. Cozy. Better get going before. Do you know what time it is? Time to be heading out? Enough! You couldn't care less whether we find the Gorons or not, could you? Well, mark my words, Cobatis. You'd better change your bloody attitude. All I'm thinking about is that those big tents must have been taken so much effort to set up. The day's only just bloody breaking. I couldn't give a damn. Everyone has already started except you. So you just get your butt upstream and help Sauer carry out his research. Mm. The idiot is capable of getting himself lost again. Why is he so mean to me? I'm not your enemy, remember? All right, all right. I'm not your enemy, you know. I... I don't think you understand the gravity of the situation, Leon. If we don't find a specimen of the Goron, the brown shadow will... Look. Just go find Sour, please. Now! Oh yeah, about the brown shadow. People on YouTube were saying that um, in the comments that actually it's it's kind of hinting, or it's not hinting, it's it's like a refer referring to the brown shirts. That was actually something during World War, World War II. I didn't know that. Like, Nazis were brown shirts. I asked you to go up the river and find Sour. The mountain's dangerous, and we're prepared for the worst. 
I only hope we don't have to use it. I wonder why they chose to rename it if it's obvious what, what it's about. What should we call cute this Gorun? Ooh. Just as well they haven't found it yet. Cool drawing. Gertrude. Who that? Oh, Bauer's baby? daughter. This medal must belong to oh. Bauer. He must have left it behind when he turned in for the night. Bauer's daughter. I sometimes forget I'm not the only one who left behind someone dear back across the mountains. Can't have been easy for Bauer to leave his daughter just after she was born. Damn. What's that? Oh yeah, water. Be prepared. Nice, I got an achievement for that. <laughs> Drink your water. Um, let me check here, because it said we could enter the tent. Go and find Sour. I guess I can't enter the tent. What about this one? Hmm. No one here. Bauer and Jaeger must have already taken off in search of the Gorun. I mean, that's what the dude said, yeah. Ooh. For a ditched code. Can't see anything here. Jaeger and Bauer have been a bit heavy handed with the alcohol these past few evenings. Morale of the troops is at an all time low. Oh. Well, time to go. What did they shoot? What's this belong to? Poor animal. Berger's gone out of his mind with this search for the abominable snowman of his. Hmm. So how do where which way do I go? To leave this way? Here we go! Look at him go! <laughs> His jog is a little bit more silly than Kate's. What's he doing? What is he considering? Yeah, hmm. uh, better get going. Yeah, got my water. Should be good. Everything looking good? Everything sounding good? Search the camp? Oh, I really thought I looked everywhere. Guess not. All good? Autumn is here. We'd better leave the mountain soon, or we won't survive. Oh, so pretty. Anyone there? Hello? Looks like someone's left their gear over there. Better oh. check it out. What happened? Stopping to read in the middle of the wilds. That sour all over. And dropping his Whoever water? it belongs to must have left in a hurry to have left it behind. That's important, Wawa. You can't just leave that. One of us must have stayed here. For a rest, maybe? One of the scientists must have stopped for a rest here. Most probably Sour. But what made him leave in such a hurry that he left behind all his gear? A bear. What on earth is that? It's a bear. That mark must be what caused Sour to stop and rest for a while. Roll towards the I'd bear. better head out and try to find him to clarify the situation. This game is so cool. <laughs> what in God's name is that? It's very solidly done, isn't it? Like, everything seems... Oh. The character models are great, the environments are great, the music is great, voice acting is great. Sour? What in the world? Shh! Look what I found! Oh! Is that a... A go-room! Yes! It's a go-room! 
I heard him cry as I was taking a break near the path. Hurry, we must go fetch the others. That's a tiny one. You go. Though. He looks injured. I'd that better stay and try and reach one. him before the current carries him away. Right, Leon. Okay. But don't lose him. Dude. I bet there's a big right, angry mama no, gorm no. somewhere. I'm coming to get you. Uh oh, this is not good. But he's probably like, that's my ticket home, so. All sorts of debris has been carried by the river. Debris. But other than trying to build a raft, I don't know what use it can be. Where do we go? How do we get across? Can you jump? Oh, you want to get that axe? It's a bit too thick, isn't it? Axe would be better. Yeah, wouldn't it hear that? Well, if it's wounded, then. It seems like it's wounded and, like, stuck in a- oh, I need to hold it? No. What do I do? Oh, hold it, yeah. Does it work? Oh, it did? Oh? Do that right. I really thought he was gonna try a couple times and then be like, I need an axe, what am I doing? <laughs> but Easy Leon. Now is not the time to get a dunking. Oh no 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 no. Don't do that again. Just keep going. Thank you. Uh, looks like... It does look like a half a human. <laughs> Hi. Take it easy. I'm not going to oh, hurt you. They're wearing clothes, too. I just want to look at your wound. Dude, I don't think they speak English. Just saying. Can I give him to show I mean no ill? Do you have a baby Ruth? Biscuits. Baby Ruth! <laughs> there you go. You hungry? Good boy. It's all right. You can have it. I'm just waiting. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Back up. Check it out. Don't be afraid. You're all right, fella. <laughs> Good Eat damn cookie. Eat up, fella. I did not expect to actually find something. I feel so bad though, he's like earning his trust, but you're gonna be put in a cage. Or shot. Doesn't trust it after all. You should ha puck grab another one and take a bite from it so he can see that you're eating it, right? And then he can follow example. It's good, isn't it? Leg broken. Where's the caviar? I just want to look at it, all right? 
Look, little fella, if you let me see your wound, you can have another biscuit later, yes? <laughs> Dude, there's no way he understands, unless it's secretly a human it's just wearing a suit. Right. Must be very painful. You're a brave boy. If I could clean the wound and brace your leg, we should be able to get you back to camp and make it better. Hold on. I'll be right back. Just be patient, little fella. I'll be right back. He's gonna get shot. There's two bits of driftwood washed up there. Okay. They're straight enough to help get the Gorun back to camp. Good. Don't step on his leg. <laughs> I could use those creepers to tie up the Goron's splint. They seem to be stuck. What do I do with that? Oh. Nice. Easy. Here we go, fella. This is going to sting a little. Yeah, I don't think he would trust you if you do that. He just thinks they're trying to hurt it more, right? <gasps> Miracle that water. Wasn't so bad, was it? Now. <laughs> Let's set that leg of yours. <laughs> Now we just need to find a way to get you back across. What's he doing? Hey. Did you do that, little fella? Well, <laughs> better drawing than talking, huh? stand on the broken leg. Do a piggyback. Yeah, what do we name the Goron? Peter. Piggy dipping. Call him dipping. <laughs> dipping dot. Dipping is cute. I shall name thee Dippin. Now the others are gonna scare him. How did he now manage to, to get the there? Others. The pacing is so nice. The game gives you so many of these moments where it's just like, just enjoy the surroundings. Huh? Oh, you want another biscuit? <laughs> you learn quick. Mm -hmm. I really feel like the other team members are gonna come in and be like, quick, get him! Just like throw a net over him or something stupid. I have like one. <laughs> thread it was a here. young specimen, my darling Dana. Almost like a child. And as soon as we made eye contact, Ooh, I knew this net. was a creature endowed with reason. They're bringing in a cage. When my companions joined me, I immediately sensed we did not share the same point of view. 
They seemed blinded by the discovery. They couldn't see the individual. Yeah, you wouldn't have to put him in a cage. He would just come willingly, don't you think? It was clear the young Goran wasn't a person in their eyes, just a subject for study. In their excitement, they seemed to lose all common sense. What is wrong with it? It doesn't like being in a cell. Fruit! Have some fruit! You shut him up in a cage! What do you expect? He's frightened! Shut it up, or I'm going to gag it. Yes. Dippin's mom is coming. What's that? Because Dippin is like person size, right? So maybe the parent is like massive. Come in, mom. Beat him up. <laughs> Show him who's boss. Locate the sound. Source of the cry. Ooh. Ooh, indeed. <laughs> I made the exact sound that the mom was making. <laughs> Aw, I, I wish they were bigger. I wanted the mom to be massive. Please just smash the cage. Must be the Gorn's mother. If we give it back, she'll probably leave. And deprive us of an adult specimen? Are you mad? <laughs> All right, Mama. Look at the size of her burger. Wound her. It will never get her back alive. Who said we needed her alive? They can't all be live specimens, can they? Uh -oh. No! Yes. <coughs> Open the cage. Hell yeah, mom. Screw that cage. Let's go. Aww, Dippin still knows that we were nice. Sorry about that, bugger, but I couldn't let you shoot them. Did you kill him? Reinhardt, you all right? <gasps> you just punched him, but what? But he... he's killed Berger. What? I just punched him. Bauer, wait. Y you saw. It was an accident. Oh no. He was going to kill the Gorin, sir. So I... I... I had no intention to... Shut it, assassin. What? <laughs> Shouldn't do that. <coughs> Holy, that escalated so quick. It's okay, Dippin will save us. I mean, sometimes, yeah, it uh, happens. My head. I've heard of the story of, um, like, a couple arguing and uh, the woman just like, or, or man, I, one of the two just threw like a flip-flop. Like, just a flip-flop, you know, to the other person's head. And it just hit him on the nose and they just died because it turned out that they had they had some condition in their head already. Like, any, any impact would have killed them, but they just didn't know. Scary. Aren't they gonna see? They oh buried dear him. lord, Berger, I'm sorry. I never meant to. Damn. 
What if he just was playing there? Looks to be like dramatic, busy. <laughs> and then he got very probably delighted. discussing what to do with me. If I can just loosen these ties, I'll be able to slip away without them noticing. Aneurysm. Mm -hmm. I'll bring him some soup. We can't let him starve to death. Bastard doesn't deserve food. Typical horse, eh? Always the good Samaritan. It's weird, though. It's like they were all there. They knew I didn't mean to do that. Good soup. I like a good soup. Aren't you afraid I was going to run for it? Where are you going to go? They intend to hand you over to the authorities in Kantar for the murder of Reinhard Berger. Convenient for them. Good well, soup. that's not how it's going to be. I don't agree with what you did. But you don't deserve what Bauer and Jaeger intend for you. You must pretend to be tied up. Mm. Wait for them to fall asleep. Oh ho ho ho! Then take your gear and get as far away from here as possible. Hear me? You got it. Yes, but what? He's like, should have never gone on this stupid expedition. We're gone. So there you have the full story, my darling Dana. I don't know what will become of me, where my escape will lead me over the coming weeks, or what my life of a murderer on the run will be like. Do you think they'll find each other in America? Always remember that my love my for you Liebe is as strong as ever, and that my greatest desire Liebste. is to hold you in my arms. I love you more than anything in the world. Leon, your alpine lover. <laughs> Dana! Oh my goodness! Dana! What's wrong, puppy? Your alpine Dana, lover. Dana, come quick! She probably fainted. We're in her bedroom. Dear diary, so much has happened since I received Leon's letter a few days ago. Mm -hmm. I'm slowly recovering. Today, Papa and Mama told me oh, that yeah, I she was, was going sick. to leave for a while. I'll explain what's going on, but I don't know where to begin. I mean, it's your diary. You don't. I really need have to, to gather my anything. thoughts as I finish packing my suitcase. Oh, <gasps> she's preggers. Oh, she got the belly. There's a little kiddo in there. <laughs> As I said, dear diary, I'm leaving tomorrow. Papa and Mama are sending me to a sanatorium out of town for a few months. Mm. They say it's for continuing my convalescence. In other words, to send me and my secret away from prying eyes. Right, she's not married. My parents have accepted the offer from their longtime friends, the Zimmers, to pay for my hospitalization at the sanatorium. The Zimmers said it was in the name of their long friendship with Papa and Mama.
but I think they feel bad that they can afford to flee Vargen in the brown shadow, whereas Mama and Papa can't. Mm. Yeah, right. When in the old old days, if the mom wasn't married and was pregnant, then they would put her away in like a sanatorium, right? And then once she had the baby, they probably just take the baby away from her, put it in a an orphanage or something, or have it be adopted, but probably orphanage. And then pretend like she never had the baby. The ideal summer and winter resort in the right? most picturesque and enchanting spot looking over the river Dombra. Well, let's hope that's true. I hope she gets to keep the baby though. Maybe that's why she flees to Come America. on, Dana. There were enough tears already. I really hope she makes it. What if the grandparents in the picture that we saw wasn't Dana at all? It was just whoever adopted the baby. That would be sad. That would be really, really sad. I'll put you away in there as soon as I'm done, dear diary. I really Better hope to that. keep you safe than risking to lose you where I'm going. I really hope that Leon and Dana get to have a I was happy life to give in up America. all my old toys and dolls. But now I guess I'm going to need them in a few years. Hopefully. You don't know what your parents are planning, honestly. Oh, wrong one. The medication to treat my cough. Mama is forcing me to take it again since I collapsed after getting Leon's letter. I should pack it. I need to finish packing my suitcase before we say goodbye, dear diary. That scientist I met at the refuge, Horst Zawa, he brought me the letter after his return from mm. Baltayar. I can't believe Leon is on the run, all alone in those mountains in the middle of winter. Oh. Well, we kind of... Because he kind of narrated most of this, right? Yes, yeah, so this is what we just played. So it's just a recollection of what happened. Okay. What else do we need to pack? Anything back there? Yunta inspired me, I guess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The brochure. Oh, photo of your parents and your cough medicine. Okay. Photo of. Oh, so. Ooh, do you think we're going to the sanatorium next? Poor Papa and Mama. They were devastated when the doctor they called after I collapsed discovered my secret. Mm. That secret I dared not speak about to anyone. Not even you, dear diary. <laughs> oh, she got her titties out. Now I can tell you. I'm pregnant, dear diary. Leon is the father. There were a lot of tears and screams when the doctor told Papa and Mama. Look at that underwear. Sexy. They finally decided to pretend that the baby will be the foster child of a missing relative. Hmm. I know everyone expects me to feel guilty, but I can't help thinking of names. At least they're keeping it. If it's a boy, of course it'll be Leon. To bring his father good luck. And if it's a girl, I think I'll call her Anna. Hmm. Oh, wait, Kate is reading this, right? Does she know an Anna? Does she have a grandma, Anna? I'm curious. Well, that should be it. There we go. All I need to do now is to conclude my diary entry and hide it somewhere safe with Leon's letter. Say goodbye to your diary. Oh, diary, my dearest friend. 
Say goodbye to your piano. At least she probably was safe outside of the city when the place got bombed. Now you know everything, dear diary. It is now, I guess, the time to say goodbye for a while. The baby bump's so cute. I know, every time she gets up, I'm like, oh, there it is. <laughs> Little baby. All I can hope now is that Leon will survive winter in those faraway mountains. And that he will find a way to come home and clear his name. We will wait until then, me and the baby. He doesn't even know you're pregnant. Ooh, that's cool. Kate, we have to go to the sanatorium. We have to know. What happened to her? Next up. Here we go. Me Anna? and the baby? Do you still think there might be a family connection between you, Kate Walker? Yes. It's plausible, isn't it? Well, all I know is that my family on my mother's side came from Europe. Well, like a lot of New Yorkers, right? I, I don't know from where exactly, but... And then there's the music box my mother left me, which it turns out plays the Wagen anthem. I mean, it all seems so... so magical. Almost like destinies at play. Or a coincidence, Kate Walker. The law of coincidences states that the more an individual is liable to believe in coincidences, the more coincidences happen to them. But then there's <laughs> the fact, the fact, Oscar, that everyone keeps telling me Dana and I look so much alike. What do you plan on doing now, Kate Walker? According to the diary, Dana left for a sanatorium outside of town. The records might tell what became of her and her baby. Mm -hmm. But before we go... There's something that's been bothering me. What is it, what? Kate Walker? You called me fat. <laughs> told us about, the one during which the house and the neighborhood were ransacked happened in 1938, if I recall correctly. Dana said that she was leaving for the sanatorium for a few months at the end of 1937. Indeed, Kate Walker. She might have just so missed it. It is very likely she was safe and sound over there when the pogrom occurred. Yes, but what if, what if she was home with her baby? I need to be sure before we leave for the sanitarium, Oscar. We need to search the neighborhood for more evidence. All right, Kate Walker, hmm. where you lead, I will follow, as long as you don't forget your bag. Trust me, Oscar. I feel like You're she left, though. the only friend I've got right now. If she came back I here, wouldn't, you. wouldn't she have um, opened her diary again? Maybe written in the diary again? I feel like she left for the sanatorium and then never came back here. America was probably the next stop. But maybe that's just me. Okay. So where are we looking? Maybe a history book? What's uh oh, go down? Is that the subway? Oh, that's where we found the poster. Hmm. 
Maybe this. Ackerman, Fisher, Yorga. I can't find Dana here. This is what we looked at already last time. <laughs> and we were like, okay, she's not on here. We already did that detective work. Okay. I'm looking, but I'm not seeing anything. Oh. The book. Huh. According to that book, the pogrom occurred at the beginning of November 1938. Mm -hmm. They passed some laws. Ostertel is annexed. The Brown Shadow organizes a night of pogroms against the Vag Vagaran community, and especially its members living on Vagan's Bridge of Mists. Why especially this area? The Allies declare that the annexation of Ostertel and Austria were null and void. Allied forces led by the Red Army liberate Wagen. 1945. That it? That's a good clue, I guess. But I need to find more. Hmm. Do they have a book specifically on... Ooh, what's this way? Nothing. Okay. Anything else? Maybe something... No, I can't go there. Can you go this way? Ooh, something back there looks important. Oh, can I not go there? No, <laughs> she really doesn't want to. <laughs> hmm. Oh yeah, hint. Well, the hints I are useful. I hope I haven't overlooked there. anything in Dana's room. You can oh, always God. come back later for another look around, Kate Walker. I guess maybe we did overlook something. Oh, thank god it does all of this automatically. The room was ransacked and pillaged. During a pogrom of the brown shadow, I guess. God, I hope Dana was away that day. Maybe the other side. Nope, <laughs> I guess not. Try looking back at the statue. More names on the other side. Hmm. Use the handkerchief on the memorial. Oh. Um, can I check my inventory? Yeah, I don't have a handkerchief. I think. Can I exit this? Threats. Riddled with misspellings and signed. Frank Hoss. That member of the Brown Shadow who had it in for Leon at the refuge. Hmm. Looks like he never forgave them and was after Dana during the pogrom. Indeed, mm. Kate Walker. But the very existence of this message could mean she wasn't home when those tragic events occurred. True. We're getting close, but it's not enough to draw conclusions yet. Ah, Dana's so initials. So... According to that letter, Dana was supposed to stay at the sanatorium until December 1938. Looks like there were medical complications. Oh no. Sister Magdalena. Dear Herr Rosa, please accept my heartfelt thanks for the new donation Herr Simmer made to our institution. My pleasure to inform you that Dana can remain with us until December 1938. It is indeed the most reasonable thing to do regarding the deterioration in our health. Please rest assured that we will continue to get to take good, keep good care of her. Hmm. Come on, Oscar. We need to find more clues. Is there anything here? No. Okay. 
Let's go out now then, now that we have the handkerchief. That should be what we need. Thanks, guys. Ah. There we go, I see. You're using an old handkerchief just to clean, though. I would, like, go grab a towel or something. Anton and Lena Rose. Tana's parents. Oh. Oh, God. They were killed during the pogrom. Is Aww. Dana Rose also mentioned? It doesn't look like it. That's no. what I thought, yeah. But I need to be sure. I think that's it, Oscar. We know that the pogrom occurred at the beginning of November 1938. Mm -hmm. Dana's parents, Anton and Lena, were killed, that's certain. But Dana was supposed to be at the sanatorium back then. Which seems to be confirmed by that message. Herr Hoss left so in the cute. house, Kate Walker. Exactly. So I guess we're done here, Oscar. Let's take the tram back to the guest house. We'll try to find that sanitarium first thing tomorrow. Those poor parents. God, I do hope Leon at least finds her. Because without her parents, all alone with a baby and not married in 1938, that doesn't spell good things. Obviously, I don't care whether you're married or not, if you have a baby. Nowadays, that doesn't matter at all. But back in those days, people were ready to judge. Guest house. So, there she Blake. is. The famous Kate Walker. Who did? Sorry, what? Donna Rose. What? I knew her very well. Oh, no. Jesus. Oh, Donna, darling. I thought she said she was Dana Rose. <laughs> Waiting for the tram, aren't you? Well, we'd be better off speaking at the guest house. I hear there's a storm coming. Oh, who are you? Pleased to make your acquaintance, Miss Walker. Colonel Blake. Colonel Blake or Fräulein Junta. <gasps> <laughs> Connecting the Yunta's dots. Yunta's still alive. You're a very clever young woman, but you must be eager to know why I'm here in front of you, bearing the surname of one of Her Majesty's military officers. <laughs> what did she go on? But here's our tram. Would you be so kind? <laughs> she looks so stylish. How did Yunta find Kate in the what? How? Are we sitting in the tram together now? <laughs> I'm ready for some cute shots. God, the story is so good. Unexpected encounter. <laughs> there they are. Hee <laughs> hee. She's so cool. <laughs> One more shot. So, Miss Walker, you've been rather quiet. I would have thought you'd have some questions for me. No? Kate really has Dana's eyes. You mentioned the guest house. Are you that other guest I heard about? Indeed, Miss Walker. Oh yeah, there was it's mail for a colonel, Paul wasn't there? Wagner who told me about you. When she told me that you were looking for Dana, I knew I had to talk to you. 
Frau Wagner told me to call the Academy, which I did, and the Rector then redirected me towards the He could have just waited for me to come back to the guest house. And that's how I ended up wandering up and down it, asking about a mysterious American woman with a painting. Why did you change your name? I didn't. I just took it back. You see, I was born and raised in London. My parents were diplomats from Austria. Janet Blake was always my real name. Mm -hmm. And how did you become a British military oh. officer? It doesn't sound like the usual career path for a famous artist. <laughs> Very true indeed, <laughs> Miss Walker. But I actually have been both during my lifetime. The British Secret Service hired me as soon as they heard I was going to work close to the brown shadow. Oh, in what? Uh, back in the 30s, that was. Just before I met She was a spy for the British. So you were some kind of double agent? You make it sound more romantic Double o than it really was, miss. But yes, I guess one could say so. She's so I cool. guess you have new information about Dana for me? I might very well indeed, Miss Walker, but what if you told me first what that little investigation of yours has dug up about Dana? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know Dana was very concerned about Leon being on the run after the death of that scientist, Herr Berger. I, I can't Hamburger. blame her. Hamburger. How could he survive through the winter all alone in the mountains Bergine. in a strange country? How could he? That's exactly the right question. I did Walker. have pizza. That yesterday. origin expedition in Baltaya. What a mess that was. I discovered today that Dana became pregnant that summer of 37. Leon was the father. So her parents decided to hide her in a sanatorium outside town. Which, I assume, saved her from the night of the brown shadow pogroms in Wagen. You assume right, but her parents, on the other hand. Yes, I heard they didn't make it. Poor bastards, if you'll pardon my French. <laughs> so, that's basically all I know. Can you tell me what happened to Dana after she left for the sanatorium to have her baby? I must confess, Miss Walker, that I was afraid you might overlook some of the painful information here, which is clearly the case. What do you mean? I... look... I think it would be best if we stay in this carriage until the very end. I know it is an odd request to make, but you really must see this for yourself. Hmm. Well, I... Until then, I recommend you look outside the window. I guarantee it'll be worth your while. Beautiful scenery. Looks like it would be such a nice tram ride. One of the frozen bodies, maybe, yeah. Whoa! No way! That's so cool! I want to be on that tram! That is so awesome! Wow, that's so nice. I'm so jealous. <laughs> I have such travel envy right now. <laughs> Baden Island, okay. So what do we have over here? Is it like a, I feel like it's a cemetery. My guess is it's going to be a cemetery. Mm. 
God, how is she gonna get down the steps? You gonna help her out? Oh, you are! Oh, that's good. Look at that! Oh, so cute! You got it. So that's why she met her at the tram station. She wanted to go here. I'm sorry, Miss Walker, but chasing you around that bridge was <laughs> more exhausting than I thought. That's okay. I can wait. <coughs> ah, nonsense. I know how eager you are to find out about Dana. So you go first. I'll meet you at section 08. I'll come meet you there. Okay, oh eight. Can't you just tell me what we're doing here? I know it must seem cruel, speaking in riddles and keeping up all this mystery like a bloody fortune teller. <laughs> but I promise, you must see for yourself. It's a little button on the cane. Okay, I feel like then. it's a sword. Like she presses and the button and the hilt comes this. off. Section 08. Find it, and I'll meet you there. Oof. Okay. Cold as hell here. Oh, the swan. The great Vagan swans are not only the immortal symbol of our town, they are living and fragile beings, so please do not feed the swans. Wrong and uncontrolled feeding can cause illness. I feel like I'm about to find Dana's grave, don't you think? Oh, how the heck do I get myself into these situations? How the hecky? The binky? Oh, pretty. Or the babies? Oh. God, I hope not. I really hope that they're family, because she does really look like her. There's something sinister about all this. Have no fear, Kate Walker. The sun's setting, and you're all alone in an isolated and derelict place. Statistically speaking, it is highly improbable that you'll meet anybody, good or bad. Thank you, mm -hmm. Oscar, but please do me a favor. Stop trying to reassure me, would you? As you wish, Kate Walker. <laughs> he kind of sounds like Kurtzgesagt. <laughs> The universe is very large. Sean does a perfect imp impression. That's always the line he says. Grim. It is a graveyard, isn't it? Is it? Mausoleum? Place gives Ooh. me the creeps. It is a graveyard. Looks like. Oh, jeez. It is a graveyard, yep. Section 08. <laughs> this look, like the graveyard with the fog, makes me want to play a hog. <laughs> What is it, Kate Walker? This place, it's... It's a cemetery, Oscar. Mm -hmm. I think Dana's... Oh my god, oh. she must... Section 08 is over there. I don't have time to get lost in that maze. Where are we now? Here? So it's just all the way straight and then follow the bend. Oh, but it's blocked off. Impossible to get through. I'll have to find a way to go around it. Okay, let me take another look at the map then. Oh, 
Well, we can get there. I'm sure this is blocked off as well, but I'll try. Meow, 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 meow. Music's so good. I think it's down here. One of the lady is a ghost. I, I don't know if these games get supernatural. Maybe. I didn't expect to find a... Oh. A dead end. I'll have to go back. I didn't expect to actually find a... Was it a Goron? Like a Goron? <laughs> Maybe we can go here? So creepy here. I mean, it's a cemetery, I guess. You don't want to go up? Oh. There you go. Maybe... Here? God, how is this lady ever gonna... How is Yunta Fishing ever gonna... Pee. How is she ever gonna get to me? How do you expect a 90 year old lady to take the stairs and stuff? Oh, could I have gone up? This way? No. Mm -hmm. I'll try and go to the other side. God, she's going somewhere. Oh. Oh, we're back at the start! No! So I went here. Oh, I missed a path. And I went up this. Dang it. Okay. So we need to go back. Is it this section? It must be this section. There. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. It's here. O eight is what we need, right? Do you want to read the sign? Section O. That's it. Okay. Oh, the first one I checked. What does it say? Oh, what does it say? Tell me. Who is in it? Anna Rose. <gasps> No! Gone to a better place. The baby! The baby oh, didn't no. make it. That's sad. I I really thought it was going to be Dana, and then I was like, maybe they faked their own death to go to America. Aww, poor baby. Snuffed out before life even began. Maybe they faked the baby's death. I, I am thinking that they could have faked the death, yeah. What? What happened? Dana's health had deteriorated at the Santorium. Her coughing fits. The pregnancy and all the stress about Leon being on the run out there in Baltayar. It was just too much for her to bear. The doctors had to put her to sleep before her delivery. There were complications and when she woke up... Her parents told her the terrible news. Wait a minute. They had already buried the baby girl. Wait a minute. They put her to sleep and then said the baby... told her the baby died? 
I don't trust that. I would not trust that. They took the baby. How yeah. come the brown shadow didn't go after? I Tana? don't think that the baby did. Ostertal back then, right? Oh, they would have eventually. Believe me. And afterwards, Dana became sterile because of the complications during childbirth. So she remained at the sanatorium a few months more. She was devastated, poor darling. That's how she survived the pogroms. Yes, but that didn't mean she was safe. So where'd she go? So what happened afterwards? Yeah. Dana lost everything. Her parents, her baby, Leon. I think she would have just given up if I hadn't been there that day. But I had to go to London. Back then, I used to get invited every year or so to all kinds of artistic events. I could then Aww, make out my so report sad. to the British Secret Service without arousing the Brown Shadow's suspicion. So I took Dana with me to save her from them. I honestly think they probably took the baby away. And... Dana probably never found out and just lived her life. And the baby grew up maybe in America. That's my current theory. Dana stayed in London for about six years. I found her a flat and a position with my real employer, the Foreign Office. Ooh, she got a good job. She had no family, no friends, and in a way she had no luck. She spent every minute she had in the office fighting in her own way against those who took everything from her. She went Damn. from one promotion to another, and soon she was among those in charge of coordinating all the resistance Damn, look at her. pertaining to the different occupied countries of Europe. She's like 24 here. Can you imagine being 24 and having an important job like that? I can't. All right, Dana. Focus. The Admiralty needs us to spot the enemy units on the map according to the reports they provided. Okay. Hey, Valence. <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> Investigation on enemy units movements and SAM surface to air batteries position. French western coast situation. Two SAM batteries spotted towards Dover. Tank division is leaving Cherbourg. I don't know, that's not how you pronounce that. To reach the SAM battery near Brest. SAM battery near Can is still active. Our scouts have confirmed that two tank divisions are still in Belgium. Please note that another tank division left for Le Havre. Two in Belgium. Well, there's two spots. Oh wait, yeah. Two in Belgium, right? Wait, I need to double check. Two tanks? Uh, two tank divisions still in Belgium. Another one left. Okay, so two in Belgium. And where- oh, here's Le Havre. But is it then this one or this one? But it said something about Kane, right? Another one left for La Havre. So... It might be like here? Maybe here on its way? I don't know how far along it would be, but... Okay, let's look at this one again. French Western Coast situation. Two SAM batteries spotted towards Dover. Dover? From here then, right? So this one has to be a Sam. And then this one is a tank. Okay, I think. Tank division leaving Sherborg. <laughs> I'm butchering that. 
to reach the SAM battery near breast. Okay, so a SAM near breast. And smorgasbord. <laughs> Two SAMs spotted or tank division leaving Cherbourg. To join up with this one. So it must be here. Sam battery near Kane is still active. Like that. Is there another report? Yes. Submarine is still positioned in the North Sea. Okay, there's only one spot in there. Two of the three submarines positioned in the Celtic Sea have left for Cherbourg. Two of the three in the Celtic Sea. So one stayed there. Left for... Left to go here. And then one left there to meet with the one near breast. That's I it. did it? I guess. That was good. Damn. Hello, Junta. Junta. Guten Tag. Dana, darling. You can use my real name here, you know. Sorry, but I just can't get used to it. Yeah, she's still Junta for me. For you'll always be Ginger Junta. Charming. I'm sure I have Lenny to thank for that, hmm? You were always too soft on that little brat. <laughs> she's still a brat. <laughs> oh, give her a break. What are you doing here? I'm so glad to see you. Only doing my duty, Dana, darling. A gallery invited me for a conference, so I jumped at the occasion to report back to our superiors. But it might be the last time for a while, I'm afraid. It's getting very hard to leave the occupied territories, even for a famous so-called pro-brown shadow artist like me. Mm -hmm. Anyway, how have you been since my last visit? So six years after 1938, so we're in 44, so we're at the end of the war. I, well, with Leon being missing and probably lying dead somewhere in Baltea for the past seven years, and what happened to my parents, you know how I feel. Mm. But, but it's all beginning to feel like, like a dream, Junta. A distant dream. Especially her. No. And her I don't baby. want it to. You know, I don't want her, my sweet Anna, to just fade away. I. I'm sorry, Yunta, but could we please change the subject? Of course, darling. No. Oh. What is it's it? Been through so much. More work for you, actually. Oh? Yes. The Allies need someone for an operation with the Resistance in occupied territory, and they think it should be you. Mm. But truth be told, Dana, I'm not sure that's such a good idea. Why not? I did volunteer for field operations. They've trained me a lot for that. I know, Dana, but this operation will happen in Ostertal, Ooh. right next to Wagen, actually. Oh. I see. I would stay in London. Look. You don't need to answer me this minute. And no one would blame you if you declined the mission. We all know you don't only have happy memories of Wagen. You still have time to think it over. But before you give your final answer, they need you to identify the resistance group that will execute the operation. It's all explained here. And of course it's all top secret stuff. So you must cross-reference the documents right here in this room. You'll have to use that thing over there. But I don't know how to use it. 
I'm sure that's easy for you. You have such a clever she mind. She does have cake. Virtuoso. A good booty. I'll see you later. Well, let's get cracking then. Okay. Let's have a look. We need volunteers for a delicate operation with the resistance in one of the occupied countries, Ostertown. If you accept, you will be dropped near Wagen so that you can coordinate an exfiltration operation of a civilian and get him into Switzerland. To do so, you will be escorted by one of the main resistance networks in the region. It has obtained excellent results in the past few years. Whether you accept or not the mission, we need you to identify the network among other small underground groups active in Ostertown. For reasons of confidentiality, you are not to leave your office until you have done so. We have granted you temporary access to your workstation's pneumatic telegraph, a contribution to the war effort that was given to us by a French engineer. This machine will allow you to claim any relevant documents you might need. Okay. So how does it work? From what I can understand of that thing, the pressure must be high in the left tube, but low in the right one. Okay. That must be for mixing the correct proportions of rarefied air in the system with the compressed air. That's good. That's bad. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm doing something. <laughs> oh. Hello. Obtain the list of resistance networks. Topic. Alliances, influence, trade, intelligence. I guess intelligence, liberation, diplomacy, defense, resistance. What did you say? Resistance networks lists. Troops, production, hospitals, networks in Ostertown. So how do I... Is that it? Do I just press the big button and... Oh. Right. Let's see. I did it. Damn. Figured it out. Okay. Is Leon in there? Edelweiss! Alpine lover! He's alive! He made it! Edelweiss? A Alpine lover! <laughs> Must be a coincidence. <laughs> That's so funny. That's not a coincidence. Are you kidding me? There's no way that's a coincidence. Uh, come here now. My pretty Edelweiss. Don't call me that. You know I don't like it. It's she was cool. hoping she would see. That's exactly where you are. Or here. My pretty Edelweiss. If she was out there. If you keep that up, Leon Kobatis, I'll find you a nickname too. <laughs> Go on then. All right. Your nickname will be Alpine Lover from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Oh, I love her. <laughs> Can you imagine as a resistance Leon. group in the He's war alive. and we're just like, He's remember alive. the Alpine lovers. I need to. Oh, good grief. But how did he. Yunta! Yunta! That's so cute. Oh my god. She needs to go. 
<laughs> that is so Leon cute. made it from Baltayar. But how? I have no idea, miss. All I know is that he survived for almost a year in the mountains before coming back to wow. us to, town, to set up the Edelweiss resistance group. Which made Dana accept the mission you told her about back then, right? Of course, nice. she was given extra training and was dropped near Wagen the following summer to carry it out. Hmm. Gosh, she had to wait like a whole another year we almost. Get going. It looks like the storm is coming. You go first. Uh, uh, I'll meet you at the tram station in a minute. Oh, so dry. Of course. Take all the time you need. <sighs> okay. Ugh. No. Nun an einem besseren Ort. So that means like she's in a better place, right? He's living with the Yetis. He might have been. He might have been. Ooh, I'm so excited. Find the nameplate of donors. <coughs> Sorry, it's just like a little itchy. It's not even painful or anything. It's just like a little, little itchy bit in my throat. <clears throat> I think because it's recovering. You know how when like wounds heal, they get a little itchy? <clears throat> it's kind of like that. Section. It's in section P. Thank you, Caprice. Thank you. I'll go. I'll go have a look at it. I got so sucked into the story. My brain is still like, okay, maybe... Oh, maybe it's that. Hmm. I recognize some of the names here. Pretty interesting. But I should get back to what I was doing. Which names do you recognize? Lenny Renner. That was it, wasn't it? Okay. The story is actually really good. I'm still thinking like, what if the baby, they took away her baby and they sent the baby to America and then Dana and Leon reunite and then find out about it and then travel to America and then they, they become like, you know, close friends because the baby should stay adopted probably or it's easier that way. But maybe the grandparents had like really good friends or something. Is it 9 p.m.? Oh god, is it closing? It doesn't even check if people are still in it. What the heck? What is it, Kate Walker? The gates, they just closed. Oh, there must be a mechanism to open them somewhere. There always is, Kate Walker. Hmm. Maybe to the side? Maybe here? Yeah. Wait, are you, I need to use something? I didn't pick up anything. What is it? Something's missing here. It seems to have to do with the gates. Hmm, I need to find something. What's up there? Closing time, huh? What am I supposed to do now? Sleep in a vault until morning? So we need to find a part somewhere? I'm looking for a way of opening the gates, Oscar. Isn't there some kind of tool shed in the cemetery that the grave diggers use? Hmm. Maybe. We haven't seen one though, have we? Wouldn't it be near the entrance? Logically speaking. Oh, there. Hmm. 
It needs a key. Mm, but the Undertakers must store their tools in it. Okay. So, how do we find that? Seems so old. This place must be centuries old. Oh, what's that? Maybe I could use this with the lock. But it's out of reach. <laughs> Time for Oscar? Squeeze in there. Can you bring that pickaxe closer, Oscar? Of course, Kate Walker. Ooh, for once he's cooperative. Jump. Oh. Mm hmm. Nice, good one. Good job. Okay, uh, now, how did I get there? Break it. She's done a lot of mining. She's good at aim. She's done that before. Nice. Precision aiming. Got a hammer. A crank. Looks like it's compatible with a bigger mechanism. Cool. That's all we need? Oh. Easy. There we are. Does it fit? Awesome. You seem disappointed, Kate Walker. About what? Well, correct me if I am wrong, but the fact that Dana Rose lost her baby and became sterile mm -hmm. disproves your hypothesis that there can be a family link between you, doesn't it? You're not wrong, Oscar, but I'm just stupidly over-optimistic. <laughs> I wish I were like you, and not controlled by stupid emotions. Nice of you to say, uh, I guess. Um, mm -hmm. sorry, Oscar. That didn't come out so well. Uh, are you all right? This must have been quite a shock for you, wasn't it? I'm very sorry to have brought you such bad news. It's okay. She gave me a ton of information, so that's really nice. No, she was sterile, so she couldn't have another baby. No more babies. But hopefully she reunites with Leon. I still think the baby's alive, because they put her under, and then when she woke up, they were like, sorry, we couldn't save the baby. And I feel like that's a lie. I feel like they would have at least shown her the baby, right? I, I for one, would be mega paranoid if I was put under before I had a baby and then woke up without a baby. And then people being like, sorry, we couldn't save the baby, but you also will never be able to see the baby. <laughs> I would be so paranoid. <clears throat> I definitely think baby's alive somewhere. The seamers? Ooh, maybe. Yeah. Ooh, it's gonna rain. The storm is coming. I'll let BB in in a sec. I need to pee anyway. And refill my bottle. Drink, doing so good with my water now.
<laughs> what about that mission Dana led with Leon's resistance network? How do they go? It didn't turn out well, Miss Walker. Oh, Actually, shit. that's the reason I left London to be here. Oh? Yes. Uh, just a second, Miss Walker. Where did I put it? What with this blasted storm? It's all over the papers. Here, have a look for yourself. Storm. Excavation work at Devil's Pass right. has been interrupted. An unexpected storm has obliged the Council to remove the bodies trapped in the ice since the Second World War and to move them to the Silver Spiegel Refuge. <gasps> Ooh. The bodies are there. We can look at them. Those frozen bodies near the refuge. I heard about them just yesterday. Do you mean... Do you think there that's Dana no and... formal identification yet, Miss Walker. Oh. But it's plausible that... That Leon, at least, is among those bodies. Yes. Oh. So we're gonna go in and identify them? What happened to Leon? According to the testimonies I've obtained, Leon was killed on that mission the Foreign Office tasked Dana to lead, an avalanche apparently. I am one of the few people still alive to be able to identify him, which is why I'm here. If it weren't for this bloody storm, it would have been done today. Mm. Do you think Dana could be among the bodies? I suppose it would be logical. It would explain oh. why I never saw or heard of her again after the mission. Yet according to some witnesses, Dana survived the war and indeed helped resistance fighters from Wagen until the liberation. Oh. But if those testimonies were true, then Dana vanished after the war. Mm hmm What about the other bodies? According to the medical examiner's office, in all, three bodies have been extracted from the ice. The one presumed to be Leon, and two others, a man and a woman not yet identified. Oh, please not be Leon. Alpine lover dying in the Alps. I see. <laughs> they must live. Well, also, is it was 1938 when they said she was sterile. Try to Honestly, stay positive, they could be wrong. Miss Walker, only a visual identification will allow us to be certain. We can go as soon as this storm's over, probably tomorrow or the day after. Okay. Right. God, it will be so sad, though, if Leon is actually... If they actually find... I think Dana won't be with the bodies, but Leon might be. Miss Walker, we've arrived. That would be really sad. It would be the worst if they're both there. But you're there. not coming, are you? What are you doing? Where are we going? Well, Miss Walker, you might not be related to Dana. But you bloody well certainly remind me of her. I mean, can't you tell her how much we look alike? Out in the rain. <laughs> the dude. Little robot. <laughs> so where am I going? Bye, I guess. What are we doing? Sanatorium? Sanatorium at night? Yeah? I'm down. Wait, you're going straight away? You can't wait? But the storm! Where are we going? 
So, instead of waiting for the storm to pass and for the official identification of the bodies, bodies I might add that were trapped in the ice for six decades, you, and by extension me, are going to climb up the mountain so you can identify them yourself. I know, Oscar. I know. Mm, she can't but wait. I just gotta be sure. Because if one of those bodies turns out to be Dana, I... I... We'll have no more trains to chase. Then you have nothing left to do. Just filled my water bottle the first time in days. Good job, Sammy. First step. God, drink. Your throat will thank you. How are you gonna hike up that mountain in a storm? You just, you just have a death wish. Oh, she got the hood up! Cute! <laughs> That's so cute. There it goes. If there's one thing we can learn from this game, it's that Wagen's uh, public transport system is amazing. Yeah, she's she has no gear. She probably doesn't even have proper shoes. <laughs> but there she goes. She made it. It looks like it's holding up, despite the storm. Go in. What if the door's locked? Because they weren't expecting anyone. And everyone's in bed. You're lucky. No one here? It's not that late. I'd have thought Demoiselle Lenny would still be up. I believe that old people retire early, don't they? I was gonna say, she's old, dude. Like, what are you talking about? No time to explore the refuge again. I need to find the frozen bodies. Maybe No time to out. explore the refuge again. I need to oh. find the frozen bodies. Maybe they keep them outside. I don't think they would keep them in a warm area, right? Take a key. Oh my god. Too small for a door. Are you gonna use it on this? Look, Oscar! A distant cousin! Um, what are you talking about, Kate Walker? And why are you laughing? Hmm. What's that key for? Hey, Margaret! Thanks for the eight months. Should we go back outside? It would make sense that they would keep the bodies outside, right? To, so they stay frozen. Lenny's left oh, her look who's that? Post. Hardly surprising with it. What's this? Oh, it's the frozen bodies from the Devil's Pass. The forensic team had to bring them up here because of the blizzard. But the generator shut off. I'm concerned it could damage the bodies. Where's Demoiselle Lenny? Oh. In her room, resting. She... she collapsed right after the forensic team left for Wagen. Jeez, what happened? I'm pretty sure it has to do with the bodies. I mean, she was staring down in that direction for, well, all the time. And then, when they brought them up from the Devil's Pass, it was like... like she had seen a ghost or something. It was almost as if... As if she knew the departed. What? Is someone taking care of her? Oh yes, don't worry. She's with that hermit who brings her wood and provisions sometimes. Okay, in that case, you go back inside. I'll take care of the generator. Are you sure? Positive, mm -hmm. just go. Go on. How is he not like what I the heck are you doing here? Anyway. Like why are you here? You literally have no business here. Okay. 
Oh, dry biscuits. Wonder how long they've been there. That's the tin. That's Leon's. Oh, dry biscuits. Wonder how long they've oh been there. Oh my god. Mm. Oh no, wait. I do have to inspect this just train. That tin. I wonder how it ended up here. Am I doing the right thing? <laughs> must have forgotten something. What's this? The gas tank's empty. I better find some fuel so I can turn on the generator. I okay. expect there must be a stock of fuel nearby. I, saw I suggest it. you have a good look around, Kate Walker. I know where it is. I saw some um, tanks here. Yeah, down there. Looks like this one's full. Let's take it. Nice, nice, nice. I don't think she can run. <laughs> oh, keep going. Nice. Pour it in. How's she not freezing? She's been in a salt mine for a couple years. Cap is on. Whee! <laughs> I must have forgotten something. Still? Got the tank all filled. Now I just need to start the generator. That's what I thought, but apparently not. Uh-huh. <sighs> Nothing. <sighs> Speak to me, Oscar! This button must have turned on the generator, Kate Walker. But you still need to use the starter. Oh. There we go. Repair. It needed gas. <laughs> I don't think that counts as repairing. Ooh! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's have a look at them. Do you think it's Oscar, uh, Leon? Oh my god. Go check. Who's this? Okay, that doesn't... Does it look like him? Leon Kobatis. <gasps> it is him. White man around 30, fair hair, body in an exceptional state of preservation, probably died in an avalanche. Everything indicates that this is the body of alpinist and resistance fighter Leon. Oh, so this is the... Still needs to be confirmed, but they think it's Leon. Reported missing during a delicate exfiltration operation. Leon. Does it's it look like him? Died yesterday. It like is the in same those stories where people outfit. are found perfectly preserved in ice for decades after being carried away by an avalanche. Hard to believe he's been dead for over 60 years. It kind of looks amazing. like him. And grim at the same time. Hmm. Now let's see if someone. An unidentified blonde woman in her 40s. Blonde? That can't be Dana. No. White female, blonde hair, blue eyes, between 40 and 50. Oh, that's not her. Due to lack of evidence, her identity is impossible to determine with certitude. However, given the presumed identity of the other two bodies, there's every reason to believe that this person participated in the resistance. You don't want to open it, just in case? That's not Dana in this body bag. White man, brown hair, 50 years of age. Hmm... Exner was to be ex exfiltrated by Leon during a resistance operation. That's 
it, Oscar. Dana's body is not among those found with Leon's. Oh, what a relief. Now that that's cleared up, Kate Walker, maybe we should take shelter within somewhat more solid premises. Right. We should go and check on Demoiselle Lenny in the refuge. I have a lot of new questions for her. Mm. I wonder, yeah, it, probably, it, it does look like Leon. That's sad though, I really hope that they both made it. Oh, should we talk to him? Brr, that bloody storm. I guess that's all he has to say. A photo of Leon on a ship. Aww. Must have been taken during his return from Baltayar. But I still can't figure out how he survived the winter while he was on the run over there. Thanks. Lenny also had that newspaper clipping about Leon. <sighs> Looks like the old girls built a veritable shrine to him. Or it was taken while he traveled to America. Demoiselle Lenny had tea with someone. Maybe with that alpinist guy. Another one of those cigars. We've seen... Oh, the detective. Well done with the generator. Generator. No problem. Uh, Who hello? the heck is that? That's Sir? the dude that was spying on Are us, the sure hermit. You want to follow that, that individual, Kate Walker? Yes, yes, yes. I yes, don't yes. think he looked threatening. Rather the opposite, Oscar. Who is he? Sir? Are you there? Dippin? <gasps> you think it's Dippin? Oh, it could be. He did look kind of hairy. Dippin? Come out, piggy. What is this? What are you doing? <gasps> it is what have we got here? Hmm? They traveled by boat and by plane. The meeting. Oh yeah. Brothers and sisters in arms. Can't look at that. Among us. <gasps> no! This portrait, it looks like Leon. Dude, it's like... F oh, it is. The style reminds me of that other portrait of him that he described in his letter from Baltayar. The one He's made dipping. by the... <gasps> Can you speak now? Oh! Then I'm a dipping. Is dipping the go rune? No, not Dana. She's old like me. <gasps> Is it? I'm Kate. Kate Walker. Kate wait, 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 wait. Walker. Yes. Did he just mean? And you Is are. Is he taking care of Dana? You're the one that Leon saved during the Origin expedition a long time ago, aren't you? Yes. The Goran from Baltaya. Well, I don't think it's well, Lenny. You've come a long way. You wouldn't, she Mister. could just say it, right? Ludwig. Ludwig Hartag. Hmm. Well, Mr. Ludwig, if you don't mind my asking. How did you what end up here? What happened when you and Leon returned to Ostertal to join the resistance fighters? And how did you meet Dana? <laughs> He's smoking. <laughs> now this is the image I didn't think I would see. Leon, Ludwig Dippin. <laughs> brother. These drawings, they're moments from your life, aren't they? Hmm.
Is that when you met Dana? No. That little figure there. That's you, isn't it? When you were a child in Baltayar. Yes. And the two adults there? Are they your parents? Uh huh. Looks like a river. And that little figure looks wounded. Is that you when you met Leon and the scientist from the Origin Expedition? Yes. He's not really holding the cigar. <laughs> that person in the middle of the others was in the other paintings. That's Leon, isn't it? Yes. Leon. That group, is it your tribe, Mr. Ludwig? Yeah. Hmm. So you all live together in a cave in Baltayar. Right. So you and your tribe took Leon in after the death of Reinhard Berger in 1937. That's how he was able to survive the winter in the mountains. Hmm. Then you went with Leon when he decided to return to Wagen to join the resistance fighters? Mm -hmm. These combat scenes, are they of the liberation of Wagen? Before, during resistance. Had Dana already joined the resistance operation by that time? I mean, by the time shown in the drawing. No. Later. The blonde girl with you and Leon can't be Lenny, right? <gasps> yes. Lenny. My sister. Wait. I knew Lenny was a resistance fighter, but... She never told me she fought alongside Leon, let alone you. She even went as far as saying that she never saw Leon again after 1937. When they all met at the refuge with Dana. Why would she hide something so important? I'm confused. Time to check on Lenny. Mm-hmm. Come, Kate Walker. Okay. So, he says he's checking up on Lenny, the old lady, but he also said that Lenny was one of the bodies in the tent. The sketchbook? I think it was Leon's. Hmm. We've seen these. Huh. Living among the Gorons. Clandestine return to Wagen. Occupation. <laughs> oh, last night I had the most beautiful dream. Oh, it was a dream. Portrait of Leon. Inspect the room. Oh, <sighs> but I want to go see Lenny. Weapons. Must have been here since the war, I guess. Wait, what does it say? 
the super resistant does not exist. So I was we super stuck. Gibt es nicht. Der wahre Feind ist er. He's the true villain. Yeah. Did I do it? No, 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 no. Click, click, click. <laughs> what the? Have you seen this man? <laughs> 10,000 marks reward for information leading to the capture dead or alive of one of Ludwig Hartak. The mountain murderer. These must be plans for secret operations. Must have been some kind of a headquarters here. Maybe for local resistance fighters such as Leon and his group. This symbol looks like a warning. It's a hand. Some kind of map. Looks like the devil pass to me. Could... Could all those marks indicate where the Gorin searched for Leon's body? Oh. Sad. Anywhere else I can look? What's this? What's this? Look at it, Kate. Look at it! Detonating wire. Just like in the old movies. Did someone cause the avalanche? So much happened to the Gorun since Leon found him in Baltayar. What a life he had. But there are still so many gray areas. I need to learn more from Demoiselle Lenny now. Well, let's go confront her. Oh, here we go. What's the story? Ah, Fraulein. I knew you would be back eventually. Judging by your face, you and Ludwig already met. We have. And it raised a lot of questions about you. About what you said to me the first time we met, and about what you didn't say. Well, well, well. Of course. You can run from your past, but never truly escape it. But you already know that, don't you, Fraulein? I want to understand Demoiselle Lenny. I'd like to understand why you didn't tell me about Leon's death, about fighting with him in the Resistance, and about the Gore, and about Mr. Ludwig. It would have saved us both so much time and effort. Yeah, is it, Dana? Because it would have only begged questions. Questions which lead to events that I've never spoken about to anyone. Not even to you, dear Ludwig. Mm. Still, I suppose it... It doesn't matter now. Perhaps it's time I confess my crime. Oh? What are you talking about? Flashback time? It was the best years of my life. Joining the resistance. Unlike my coward of a father. So it is Lenny. Fighting alongside Leon after he miraculously got back from Baltayar with Ludwig. It gave me purpose. She caused the avalanche? Oh my god. Do you think so? Leon was a terrific leader. I could feel he was finally taking me seriously, especially with Dana being missing. Is that before she came over? Or? After all, didn't he cross the globe to rescue her? But we all thought he arrived too late, uh. that Dana had died with her parents during the pogroms. So, I believed his mourning would eventually come to an end. Oh god, she was ready to, like, be his new lover. And 
That's when Dana fell from the sky. <laughs> Hell yeah, Dana! <laughs> Hell yeah. Dana was sent by London. Oh my god, oh my god. The to reunion. that operation led by your resistance network. The exfiltration of a civilian to Switzerland, if I recall correctly. Go, 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 go. Indeed. But Leon never told us that Dana was involved. Maybe he was afraid to believe it himself. Where is she? Stuck in the tree? At least they found each other again. That's so sweet. That's like... What, seven years after they... It's probably about seven years after they last saw each other. That's so long! Lovig is like, it's okay, Lenny. I'm here for you. <laughs> you should have seen them, Fraulein. It was as if they had never left each other. Do you know if, if Dana ever mentioned a child? Maybe they were planning to have one in Baltaya. Who knows? In Baltayar? Yes. That's all they ever talked about. How they were going to live over there after the war, along with Ludwig and his tribe. Mm -hmm. He's telling her about the dream he had. Oh my god, they're so sweet. They love each other so much. So cute. Oh. But it was to be just another broken dream. Where'd he go? Right. I should call London now. My radio's downstairs. Leon's drawing book. I recognize the mountains of Wagen in these drawings. Leon must have drawn them during his expeditions in the region. These drawings date from the summer we met, when I worked here. Hmm. These landscapes don't look like they're from the Wagen region. Leon must have done these drawings when he was in Baltayar with the Origin Expedition. This is a drawing of the Gorons. Hmm. Cute. Herr Gustav housed me here when I worked at the refuge. I have so many fond memories with Leon here. When I left for London with Junta, I never thought I'd see the place again, let alone be here again with Leon. Mm. Talk to your allies before using the radio. Well, get a move on. Judging by these installations, Leon's network seems particularly well organized. Pity the same can't be said for all the re Oh, shit. I clicked too soon. May I? Mm. 
Oh, he's drawing them. The Gorun described Leon as his brother. Aww. They must have shared lots of adventures together since Leon saved him from the clutches of Herberger. Man, I wonder if... Two brothers and sisters in arms. You can sense that the three of them stand together as one. I wonder if Ludwig is then the one who finally found the bodies. Lenny and the Gorun seem close. It's nice that she's found a friend. Not that Herr Gustav lacked affection for her, but she spent too much time alone in that refuge. Your drawings are beautiful. For you, Dana Rose. <laughs> Cute. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Ludwig. It's almost as if you were there with us that night. Leon told me. Did he speak about me? All the time. <laughs> I should go now. Talk to you later, Mr. Ludwig. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love how polite they all are, Mr. Ludwig. Oh, it looks like Leon and me in this drawing. The Goron must have drawn it from Leon's accounts of us. Hmm. Cute. The Allies are unable to send Damn. enough supplies to the Resistance fighters for them to completely let go of their good old-fashioned methods. An arms stash. <sighs> Since the departure of Herr Gustav, Resistance fighters have been using this place as an outpost. Damn. Harold Exner. A scientist with vital information for the war effort, according to the Foreign Office. Mm. His cover has recently been blown, which has led to this operation. Better not say anything during the briefing, but apparently, Exner has a reputation for being rather hot-headed. That's the dude we saw, right? He was the one who got angry when I was playing the, the when Dana was playing the piano. The place where it all began between me and Leon. And he put the graffiti in her apart in her house after. If this the place. propaganda against the resistance fighters is anything to go by, the brown shadow must be pretty desperate. Another terrorist sabotage perpetrated by the white army. Looks like the Goron must be a nightmare for the brown shadow. <laughs> he must be the super resistant I heard so much about in London. Okay. Is anyone in this corner here? Anyone hiding over here? Why did Herr Gustav leave the refuge? Did the brown shadow force him? Hmm. Oh, that's the radio. No, 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 no. Not yet. Anyone outside? Can't talk to him. Different dude. Oh, okay. Lenny. Hmm. <laughs> Careful with that. Hmm. What do you want? It's amazing how you've grown. How have you been since last time? Fine, I guess. Still a little brat, I see. I found out that the refuge was closed down by the Brown Shadow a few years ago. Turns out your network did the best of it. But what about Herr Gustav? Is he... Dead? What happened to him? No, he's not dead. Although, for me. He might just as well be. What happened? Where'd he go? It's quite incredible when I think of you and Leon fighting alongside someone who comes from so far away. Yeah. After Leon saved him during the expedition in Baltayar, Mr. Ludwig's tribe took him in during the winter months. They became inseparable, like brothers. 
so much so that Mr. Ludwig insisted on coming back here with Leon. Now he's our most ferocious fighter, the terror of the brown shadow. Hmm. Well, I guess that's that. See you later, Lenny. Have you called London yet? Not yet. We'll talk later, Dana. Oh, that's the guy from the expedition, isn't it? Who helped him escape the first time. Who else can I talk to? Ooh, introspection. Oh, that guy. We'll have to cross that tomorrow. It's daunting. Not because of the crossing, though. Leon knows it like the back of his hand. No, because of what will happen between us afterwards. Mm -hmm. I know I'll have to face the fact that London won't let me stay with him once we've escorted the civilian into Switzerland. And Leon would never accept to leave his men and follow me to London as long as the war's still raging. Mm. Once again, everything seems to be against us. But at least I've seen him. At least I know he still loves me. And we'll have plenty of time to catch up when we'll leave for Baltea after the war. Hmm. So, best not dwell. I'll have all day tomorrow to feel sorry for myself. <laughs> So many weapons and ammo everywhere. What's another thing? Yeah. Okay. Now, who's this man? Is everything all right, Herr Exna? You seem a little upset. Wait, oh, it is If Herr it's Exner. about your exfiltration tomorrow, I can assure you oh, there's Exner nothing to be evil worried dude. about. Leon is the best of I couldn't care less about tomorrow. So what is it then? It's my wife, Andrea. It's like I said to your... your goons there. I can't leave without her. Your wife? I'm sorry, Herr Exner, but we have no orders regarding... I don't care about your orders. I'm not leaving without Andrea. Do you hear me? I won't. Hmm. You think I'm a bastard, don't you? A selfish bastard ready to risk people's lives to recover the woman he loves. That's what you all think, isn't it? Hmm. No, I think you're afraid, that's all. Afraid for you and the woman you love. And fear doesn't usually bring out the best in people. I take full responsibility for my actions, and I expect no pity in return. Wait, so he is an evil dude. But would a little understanding be too much to ask? I mean, what would you do in my shoes? Hmm? What would you do if they asked you to abandon that alpinist you seem to be so fond of for the common good, eh? Because that's what you're asking me to do with Andrea. I mean, that's probably what I am going to do. If I were in your shoes, I would put the common good first, even if I had to make a tough choice. Oh, she course. is going to go back to London. Ugh. 
Well, everyone <laughs> so seems all right, more or less. I should get back to the radio now. Okay. Does this view button still work? It does. <laughs> okay. Need to get some coughs out of my system. This part of the radio is used to transmit messages. Mm-hmm. How do we use this it? This part of the radio is used to transmit messages. On. I need my documents so I can find the right setting. They're in a side pocket of my bag. Side pocket of your bag. Pistol. Uh, how do I access her bag? Oh, this is the bag? Empty. She's <laughs> like, oh, remember where I put it. <laughs> Okay, start with the left. Please follow the procedure below. Obtain the safety frequency, decipher the contact code below. Okay. We're gonna do some puzzling? 2111.12.121.21. Okay. Um, let's have a look. In order to send messages, please use the correspondence table below. Recipient with the letter will receive their code at the frequency established in the contact code. Oh god, okay. Start 2643, code FFC. Ah, oh, that's it. Okay, back to the first one. Please see the attached appendix. Is this the attached appendix? Oh yeah, it is the appendix. Recipient of the letter will receive their code at the frequency established by the contact code. What? There must be something I can use as an antenna somewhere in this refuge. Need a key? Okay. So before we can do anything, we need to find the key thing. That we used as the... Is there anything back there? Oh, there is an observe back there. up here. Mm, she doesn't want to. Oh, no, 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 don't. Don't, don't talk. No talking. Herr okay. Gustav's piano uh. brings back so many memories. Yeah, we last used a key in the attic. So, maybe... Oh, whoops. Made it back, who's, who's is this? Made it back from Wagen despite the brown shadows tightening of the curfew. The hardest part was telling Franz's parents their son had been killed in the last operation. The father was especially cut up when I told him he couldn't recover his son's body. Tried to explain how Hartak buries all our fallen in the eternal snow, like in the frozen cemetery. So they become at one with the mountain and rest in peace beside the fallen brothers in arms where there's no risk of the brown shadow ever finding them and desecrating their graves. Anyway, even though they knew Franz knew of the risks, it didn't make it any easier for them to accept his death. I tried to reason with the father and he finally resigned himself to just asking for Franz's effects. 
I don't see why we would refuse, but I've been asked this before, so what do you think? Do you think Leon would mind? Hmm. Personal effects in a heap. Can't be a good sign. Leon's men one? must have settled down in the dormitories. Hmm. Let's go up. Okay, there's a couple things I can look at here. You into stash. I doubt I'll find anything of use there to amplify the radio signal. I mean, you found the key there before. Herr Gustav's old radio. I remember we spent many an evening listening to serials when I worked here that summer. Mm -hmm. This antenna looks like one of Herr Gustav's inventions. That's an antenna? Oh. There must be something else I can plug into it. That looks good. Oh. There must be something else I can plug into it. Hmm. Okay, that's a good sign. Herr Gustav's old radio. I remember we spent many an evening listening to serials when I worked here that summer. So Junta never did come back to retrieve it. Not surprising, really, I suppose. Given the fact that World War broke out. Yes, I suppose. Is there anything in the back? Oh, what's that? Just more things. I really feel like that's the game devs being like, look at all these nice details we put in the game that you barely even see. What a mess. Herr Gustav must have turned Junta's dark room into a storeroom after she left. Okay. I really like it. I appreciate it. It really makes you appreciate the effort more that they put into this game. I can really sense how proud they are of what they've achieved. Okay, let's try this new antenna thing about Bob. Use this that weird should thing. boost the signal. Perfect. Nice. Do you need to wind it up? Oh, <laughs> up it did go. What? Do you want to like line up the? It doesn't work. What are we doing? Do you want to look at the other side? Oh! Oh! Wait, is that it? The signal is strong enough to reach London now. You're lucky there was a radio thing here. I need to adjust the frequency settings properly to contact London. Okay. So now we should get to receiving, right? Okay. Okay, pee pee. Oh god, this is hard. Uh Okay, so red is the start maybe? Okay. Okay, restart. One more. One more time.
Okay, what I think we have is P. Beep. And then an E. Beep. Then an A. Beep, beep. And then beep. Beep, beep. Which is K. Peak. Peak. Oh. <laughs> Can I turn it off? Or do I need multiple things? No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay. Let's look at this. So, six and a half peak. Oh, there's peak. So, we got peak, so maybe 8.4 is next. That's good. I don't think so. This part of the radio is used to transmit messages. Nothing's happening though. Or maybe I should go up now. Ah. Okay, we did it. London, come in. London, do you read me? London. Over. We've made contact. Package safe and sound. I repeat, we've made contact. Package... Out of the question! I'm not moving from here without her! Hmm. London, please wait a moment. Over. <laughs> please hold on. What's going on? You! Tell London I'm not leaving without my wife. Herr Exner, listen, I... No, you listen. Andrea is my closest collaborator. With regard to the Allied war effort, she is just as important as me. She is in Wagen, as I speak, hiding at some friend's place under a false identity. You must bring her here and smuggle her into Switzerland with me. There's no way we're going back to Vargen. Brown Shadow troops have overrun the entire town. We can't risk delaying our departure. A storm coming. Danger. I'm not moving from here without her. Hmm. London, did you hear that? So what are they going to say? Roger that. Over and out. They say we can't allow Frau Exner to be captured and risk her letting the cat out of the bag. Hmm. What are you waiting for then? Send someone to fetch her. Hmm. Hang on. You're not asking me to. Sorry, Lenny. We haven't got a choice. Ludwig can't go about in public in Wagen. And I have to prepare everything to get them through Devil's Pass tomorrow. You're the only one I trust enough to... Why can't she go? Hmm? Mm hmm? 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 <sighs> Lenny's right. I'm not known to the Brown Shadow. I can sneak into Wagen Incognito this evening and be back in time for... Out of the question. That's not your mission here. And besides... And besides... It's too dangerous. Leon! Hmm? All right, then. I'll go. Is that where Lenny, she... Wait! Gets the accident and loses her legs. Leon's reaction and his unconditional love for Dana drove me mad with rage. So I decided to take my revenge by making a detour. Hmm. It was a detour I would regret for the rest of my life. Oh, that's where she got the accident.
What did you do? Oh, I that's made not an a accident. Deal with the devil. Oh. She ratted them out? That's the dude we saw. At Silver Spiegel in the past. Oh, she didn't. Oh my god. No one was supposed to have gotten hurt, I promise. I promise, Fraulein. No one was supposed to get hurt. I just ratted them out to forever. the enemy during a war. With her. What happened? But it was a fool's bargain, as I should have known from the beginning. So... They got them back together just so... to lead the troops there. Shoot! Hell yeah, Dana! No one was supposed to get hurt. They promised, even though they brought 20 guns and people. Is that what they made for Devil's Pass to try and get out? Well, Lenny has been very naive. The young Lenny was very naive throughout, so... It does fit her character, doesn't it? <laughs> Loving is just like the reload guy. <laughs> oh no, he now is a gun too. Not what I expected to see today. Brown Shadow! But how could they have We must leave immediately before the mountain becomes impassable? Go through the pass in this way, that are you mad? We have no choice, Lenny! It's that will fall into the hands of the brown shadow! They and still we both trust know her. What that means. We ought to stay to buy Leon as much time as we can. Leon, I. She's right, Lenny. Now go, go, come, Dana. No, don't make this harder than it is, Dana. She stayed behind. <laughs> no, and that's where he died. I love you, Leon. I love you too, Dana, more than anything in the world. Oh, on, so go. that's the three people, yeah. It's their bodies that they found. And that's how she lost her legs. Damn. Ironic, isn't it? That's karma the worst for you. Was yet to come. God, is Dana gonna die? Go! Oh my god! What's gonna happen? Is she gonna get captured?
Do we can hit anything with a shotgun from that? Who knows how long we fought? Enough for Leon to lead the civilians to the foot of Devil's Path. Is that why she got a medal? For the war effort? Oh my god. No, it can't have been. She got a medal for fighting and getting hurt in combat. Even though they don't know that she's the one who... Oh, he's gonna unleash! Monkey rage! <laughs> Let's go! Piggy dipping! <laughs> so he uses human methods until all else fails. Damn. He did it. <gasps> Dip it! Damn! <laughs> He's like, sorry, it had to be done. <laughs> The other guy's dead. Uh, do you think it was the grenade at the end that did it? Dana go after that. Still kind of sad we didn't go to a sanatorium. <laughs> that would have been cool. Man, so Leon did die there. For Leon's remains since then. But it took the thaw due to global warming to uncover the bodies. Mm. And with them, my crime. Precisely when you decided to show up, Fraulein. Lenny. Dear Ludwig, like, can you ever <gasps> for... Yeah. Mr. Oh Ludwig, my god. Please. He took care of you Don't for so Fraulein. long. I deserve this. Let's get this over with, Fraulein. Let me tell you about the last time I ever saw Dana. And then I'll be done. Okay, I'm listening. It was a year after Leon died, just after the liberation of Vargan. End of the war. Yeah, she probably finds out then that her parents are both died dead. Leon is most likely dead. She doesn't know for sure because the body isn't found until 2005. Is that the music academy? Hey, but that means. Oh, no, it's there. It survived. I was gonna say, I thought the whole thing was destroyed. She's been through so much. Oh my god, this dude, punch him. Slap him in the face. 
Oh, Lenny's dad is back there. <laughs> the little Vagaran Scorch. Hmm. Oh my god. Still Kick him in the dick. Like fleas on a rat, I see. <laughs> Oh, I was so disappointed I didn't bump into you when we sacked your parents' house. Oh, my God. Before we threw them in the Dombra River. <laughs> Can I borrow one of those guns? Just real quick. You know what? Do I leave without a word? I just wanted to tell you what a pathetic little man you are. You don't even deserve my hatred. Hmm. I was spit on him though. <laughs> Run, rabbit! Run! Cause we'll soon be back to finish off scum like you! Man, what an awful man. Oh, missing persons. Goodness me, it's you, Dana. Herr Gustav? I wish it was still a music academy, eh? I'm at HQ now, you know. Yes. I just visited Lenny. That's why I've come too. I wanted to see her before I leave. How is she? Surviving, I suppose. The Allies are taking care of her here in the infirmary. Thank goodness. Special treatment for her exploits in the Resistance. Mm. But uh, it's unlikely she'll ever walk mm. again, though. Lenny. I'm so sorry for what happened to her. I let Leon die alone, and I she couldn't even help up. Lenny when she got hit during the assault on the refuge. I understand you, my lovely. I do. But don't blame yourself, eh? Regrets, we all have a few. And some more than others. Especially in times of war, Dana. It's the way of the world. We just have to move on best we can. Maybe if we could... I'll just let the water flow under the bridge, the swans will come back, and we'll all be able to live together again, like we used to. Hmm. Would be good, if it's at all possible. And Lenny? I promise to take good care of her for the rest of my life. And that he did. I lost my little girl once. I'm not losing her again. I'll take up my job at the refuge, and... I'll adapt it to her handicap. See? That's nice. Is everything okay, Dana? Um, what did you do? Where I'm were curious. you during the occupation? Lenny never mentioned it. If you want to know, I, uh, was cleared by the military court, Dana. Might well have mean? something to do with the fact that I'm the father of a heroine. But all the same, I was cleared of any wrongdoing, you see. What did he do? Oh, I see. I see very well, Herr Gustav. You have a good day now. So he sided with the bad guys, but then got cleared because his daughter, who's actually a war criminal, he was with the brown shadow. Damn. Since the liberation, everyone in Vargen seems to be looking for someone. I. Uh, oh. You you should go, Dana. I thought it was the picture. Hezawa. Oh. Oh, he made Dana. it. What are you doing here? Well. Unlike my former colleagues of the Origin Expedition, I refused to be hired by the Allies. So, by the same chalk, I turned down immunity. 
Why would you do that? Well, all I've ever wanted to do in life is to carry out my anthropological research. But if there's one thing I learned in Baltaya, it's that it can't be done by serving the designs of this or that superpower. Not even momentarily. I've had enough of prostituting science. <laughs> so, I've given myself up to be judged for accepting to be financed by the brown shadow. Wow, that's very fair of him. I see. I'm... sorry about Leon, Fraulein Dana. I know you were close. He, uh, used to talk about you all the time. I'm sorry. I was rather... rather harsh toward him last time we met. He was a good man. Mm. I miss him. His integrity. Poor Dana. I miss him too. After all those years, she finally saw him again, and then the next day, he dies. Hezawa? Yes, Fräulein Dana? Thank you for passing Leon's letter on to me about what happened in Baltea like you promised you would, despite your own grief. It's proof that you're a man of honor. Oh. I wish you well now. God, I really hope that this memory ends with her getting the little swan that plays the music. As like a keepsake. Because then we know. That's it. <laughs> I'm definitely done with everybody here. I should go and talk to Lenny in the infirmary now. Hold on now. Lenny's not running off anywhere real soon. She can stew in her own actions for a bit. I need to read the newspaper. Um, Ostertal rebelled against their brown shadow conquerors and liberated their capital city of Wagen today. As a massive allied army gathered at the city gates, thousands of besieged partisans stormed brown shadow barricades, overpowered the, overpowered the enemy garrisons, and hoisted the Ostertal flag victoriously over the city. The latest word at headquarters was that allied troops had joined Wagen patriots on the musical square in the heart of the capital after bitter fighting with Brown Shadow and Wagen collabor collaborationist militiamen. In an extraordinary speech, one Soviet major took the stage among the automatons of the square. He said, "This is great day of liberation. This great day of liberation would not have happened without the continued war effort of so many, and notably of one Soviet factory in the industrial city of." Kolsgrad, situated between Ukraine and Kazakhstan. They, they're close to each other. This factory has been able to maintain its activity of extraction and refinement of heavy metals thanks to its workforce of automatons. The major added, it is a fitting conclusion that the very creator of that factory of automatons also created the musical square on which we stand today as free citizens of the world. His name is Hans Vorlberg. The Wagen Radio confirmed late tonight that the Ostertal capital had been liberated and that the Brown Shadow Commander-in-Chief had signed an unconditional surrender. And what's this? Nothing, apparently. Let's go see Lenny. See what she says. Come on then. Go in. Lenny, Lenny. The Alpine Lover Killer. To be fair, Hello, though, Lenny. she was just naive. She probably really didn't think that that would happen. I have to leave, Lenny. Every new day in Wagen is like another agony for me since Leon died. I can't face being here anymore. 
not now that the town is freed. So, I've decided to leave for America. There it is! I'm going to try to start life over. I don't the know connection. if I'm any better in the United States, but I'll have more of a chance of getting <laughs> by there than here. I'm not abandoning you, Lenny. Ludwig's staying to help you find Leon's body in the mountain. Ugh. And I'll Took write him 60 you years. often. I won't forget you. I'm so sorry. Hmm. So Dana, Dana, she... She never knew what you did? Indeed. Hmm. Yeah, even so if she did didn't intentionally bring the soldiers promised? back, she should From still... I would still apologize. Yes, she did. For the next 40 years. Damn. She's still alive then? Can't say for sure, but there's a good chance. Can you explain? No. I've had enough of explaining. Explaining to myself. All I want now is to find some peace far away from guilt and loneliness. I'm going to rest now. Honestly, <laughs> I can't really bring myself to say. Oh, okay. It's not too. Late I'm still to pissed off. <laughs> Wouldn't know how, even if I wanted to. You won't know until you try. <laughs> Thank you, Fraulein. It was an You'll awful thing to do, but she was I very naive and Dana very young. In my automaton. It will give you the answers you're looking for. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Thank you. What if it's shipped from, like, sent from a, the state that she's from or something? Plus, she lost the ability to walk as well. Uh, she has paid for her mistakes, don't you think? Ooh. Look at that. Little keyhole. <gasps> no. I probably just need a key. This music's fun. Uh, what next? It won't budge. There must be a way of unblocking it somewhere else on the mechanism. Okay. Must have got it wrong. Um, I guess so. I don't know. Um, hmm. Do we have a key? Is there a key on the desk or something? No. We're- I feel like we're close to like some kind of a reveal. Didn't I get a key? Oh no, that was key for the generator, wasn't it? There's only about an hour left. Oh my god. Really? Look, Oscar! A distant cousin! Oh, a distant what cousin. Are you talking about Kate Walker, and why are you laughing? Um, where is it? Oh, maybe this thing. They must What's have carried seat? Demoiselle Lenny to her room after she collapsed. Is the key in here? 
They must have carried Demoiselle Lenny to her room after she collapsed. Uh -huh. Looks like I can change its shape. And that's what I did. I'll be taking that. Okay, I think that's it. Let's try again. No, it's not the proper setting of the key. Oh yeah, wait, okay, let me see. So it's just two on the side. Oh, it won't fit. I must display the key properly. Jesus. <sighs> okay. No, it's not the proper setting of the key. Um, does it matter how I rotate it? Excuse me. Oh, well, no. that's the heart. Thing's stuck. No. Um, where's the other one? Oh, I don't like the music. Impossible. Impossible. Really? Oh, I have to stop at the right time. The music is so dangerous. What's happening? Do you want to put Oscar in here? You should be able to control this body now, Oscar. Let's work together to unlock it and find that letter from Dana. It won't budge. There must be a way of un- Impossible. I like that she's just like, impossible. It doesn't tell me what is impossible or why. The guts. This lock. I think I need to slide the small moving part nearby in order to unlock it. Maybe I could ask for Oscar's help if I get stuck. This? Thing's stuck. Thing's stuck. This lock. I think I need to slide the oh. small moving part nearby in order to unlock it. Maybe I could ask for Oscar's help if I get stuck. I don't see anything else I can manipulate. Like, what do I need to move? Oscar, if you lean forward a little, I should be able to pull down the slider in your back. It won't budge. There must be a way of unblocking it somewhere else on the mechanism. Can, oh, that's what I can do? Oh. oh the new body. Again. I thought he was just not... I thought he was just ignoring me. Oh, how basic. You a basic beach. It moved. Maybe it can be opened. Oh, should I move him forward more? Oh, it won't fit. I must display the key properly. What'd that do? Ah. Okay. So I moved something. Things stuck. I moved- I made a path this here. This lock. I think I need to slide the small moving part nearby in order to unlock it. So this Maybe bottom I could ask part needs to go up? I get stuck. Right? Try to ask again. <laughs> no. No. Absolutely not. <laughs> Things stuck. Impossible. Oh, maybe it needs to go once. 
like that. Ah. Okay, and now I need to move the thing again somehow. Okay. Right? What if we look up all the way? Oh no, that's it. So now we need to like twist it and bop it. You can't turn it just once. No. Hmm. How do we get past this thing? No. Oh. Ah. I didn't know that was what that did. Oh, and now this needs to move. Okay. Let's try this down. What about all the way up? Oh, that's good. Now they're pretty much both out of the way. Um, oh yeah, the key. I need to turn the key to change the... Right? Ah. Ah. Aha. Okay, now I need to turn the key. Should be able to. Oh, I need to go to both sides. Oh, now I get it. Now, did oh, that do it? I think I can turn the crank now. Man, she really locked it away, huh? No, it's not the proper setting of the key. I think it's just this, isn't it? The letter. Spring 1983. Dana sent this letter 20 years ago to Lenny. Mm. Dana Goengrish, Manhattan. Goengrish. Her name changed. She's probably married. Found new love. May 21st, 1983. My dear Lenny, sorry if I haven't written in a long time. Things haven't been easy for me of late. Oh! <gasps> new York. It's back. Oh, copyright. This got cleaned before. Wait, so she was quite famous then. My husband, she went back William to music. Gangrich, passed away last summer. Oh, he no. was such a remarkable partner and a tremendous support. She did find love again, that's nice. But as you know, Lenny, there used to be another world for me. 
the world before. Our world, Lenny. The world of Leon. Mm -hmm. Oh! Look at that! I've honored my current contracts. But now I feel I need a change. Are you gonna see old Dana? Oh, it's the funeral. Or she just really likes flowering flowers. Contemplate your second life. Oh, look at yourself. Oh my gosh, she's old! Hmm. Oh my god. Oh, look at that. A star is bo born. Have you been down to the cafe concert recently? If you have, then you will have fallen in love, in love with the virtuoso music of a rising star. Her name is Dana, and all we know about her is she came to the United States from her hometown in Central Europe in the aftermath of the war. So if you go down to the cafe concert tonight, you're sure for a big surprise. And this musicologist will be thrilled to bits to be the first to lead you to discover a pure genius before she is swept away to play at the world's greatest stages. Anything in the drawer? The legendary recording of 1983. Huh. She was on tape. Oh, is it gifts and flowers from fans? Dear Dana, my thoughts are with you as always during these difficult times. You know I will always be here through the good times and bad. I do understand your sudden desire to let everything go since dear William's passing. I really do, but I must ask you to give it some time before you throw in the towel. True, you are at the height of your fabulous career, but I sincerely believe there is a new and wonderful chapter yet to be written in your book of life. You are so much in demand, it would be such a pity to disappoint all those fans who adore you, and they really do. I hope you will take up this new offer that, of course, we will have happily increased. It's only normal that the artists who made my label should receive all my sincere gratitude, not only from the heart, but also from the pocket. I have left a master copy of your latest recording for you to listen to before it goes to press. This is Dana at her very best, since you've, and once you've heard it, I hope you'll realize that such talent cannot possibly just walk away from her public. Raymond Pratt Is that the music that she likes? And then unplugged. Oh, she left it unplugged, so she didn't want music. I 
think that's it. Did I look at that? What did I miss? Oh, that's it. It was a nurse who worked at the maternity ward at Baden Sanatorium <gasps> before the war. When I saw Here comes! Her. She's it gonna find out about her daughter! Written by her superior. It was a strange confession written by the chief doctor who was present when I went into labor. Oh my god. She claimed that the child I gave birth to on April 5th, 1938 was alive. That they had seized the opportunity of me falling into a coma to give my daughter Anna to a couple <gasps> the of Zimmers. My parents. The Zimmers. It was them. Anna you guys is called alive, it. Lenny. Oh my god, you gotta go meet her. How can you trace her? Leon's kid survived. It's like the one thing she has left from Leon, then. You can imagine, my dear Lenny, that I spent the following weeks searching for my daughter high and low. Oh my god. That's the house! It wasn't That's that Kate difficult, upstairs! Even though my daughter's names had been changed. Isn't it? Oh my god. Wait, so Kate met Dana without even realizing? Oh my god, that's the house. Dude, you need to like announce that you're there. Someone's gonna think that you're breaking in or something. <laughs> you don't wanna like, this is America. You don't wanna get shot because you're trespassing. They're having a party. Oh, they left the door open for visitors for the party. Is that, wait, is that then her daughter? For a while, I just stood there, watching a woman who seemed to be the center of attention. So Kate's she mom so confident is Dana's daughter? And full of life. Or is there another... She was surrounded by charming friends and a couple of old folks. The left lady is her daughter. Zimmers, no. Her adoptive parents. That's the Zimmers. I feel like I'm missing a generation. Kate's mom is Dana's daughter. Yeah. Oh. So Kate all this time thought that the Zimmers were her actual grandparents. She didn't even know. Oh my god. Oh, please tell me that Kate walks downstairs and it's like, who are you? That's awful though. All those years mourning for your daughter and she's just alive and well and no one ever thought of reaching out to Dana. Especially Dana being famous, the Zimmer should have seen her somewhere. Like they should have known and reached out to her. Don't you think? You can't keep that secret. As I was watching my daughter, it appeared clear to me. 
I was an intruder in the life of Sarah Walker's. No. Mom? Your mom is Anna. That is so weird. Can you imagine you're like mourning at the grave? That's actually your mom's. didn't look like me and inspired nothing in me either. No emotion, no desire to run to her and take her in my arms. Absolutely nothing. Oh my it god. Felt meaningless. No, Dana. I just did what I thought best in such cases. I took a trip into her assumed past just to make sure there were no regrets. No, she should have reached out. That's so unfair. Dana, you have to go upstairs. At least meet your granddaughter. Oh my god. <laughs> it can't end like this. Is that cheese I spot? Ooh, cheese and wine. Look at that. Mm. Looks like a camembert. The book. Could she still be alive? Dana? I mean, yeah, if Lenny is still alive, Dana could still be alive. Maybe that's the thing that makes Kate go back to America to reunite. Can you imagine? Spy. Go up. Fuck. You're so close. No, <laughs> this sucks. Contemplate what could have been. There's still something we can see. What else is there? Picture. So that's the Zimmers. Oh my god. I had no idea. Oh, what about this one? You can't pick that one up? There's more. But what is it? <laughs> She's just standing there, creeping. <laughs> oh my god. A ghost, Dana. That's all you are. Stop haunting these people and leave. Oh my god. I don't know, if I if it were me, I would have loved to meet my actual birth mother. <gasps> the piano! She hears the piano! I was just about to leave when I heard piano music coming yes. from upstairs. It stopped me in my tracks. Let's go! She got your talent. Six well, not little really, notes, but... pure, crystalline, that crushed my heart with an incredible violence. I climbed the stairs like an automaton, guided by the music of the hymn of Wagen. 
can't believe they came so close at one point. That's your granddaughter. The music I was so proud to play on the main square of Vargen. I never played it again after that. So she's playing the Vargen music? Oh my god, are you guys gonna meet? In a child's bedroom, I saw a little girl learning to play the piano. And Kate probably thought it was just a party guest. Oh my god. Oh my god, they came so close. That's crazy. She doesn't even know it's her grandma. <gasps> you gonna play together? Hell she yeah. Was very studious and didn't seem at all surprised to see me there. She must have thought I was just another guest. Oh I my god, I'm freaking party. out. That's so good. Oh my god, Kate right now must have been like, oh my god. <laughs> wow. Also, Dana was probably the last one to actually play that before the war. It was played after the war as well though, but that's cool. <laughs> that explains now why Kate was like, "Oh my God, it's the same." We hardly like, spoke. she could play it because I she used to play it as a kid. To play. Hands must glide over the keyboard like swans over water. Oh. That's what our teachers at Wagen Academy used to say. I need an epilogue with Kate on her doorstep. <laughs> if that happens, then we can all die happy. <laughs> So cute. God, and it all came together just because Kate found that one drawing that Leon did. What an amazing story. So good. Now you know. I hurried out of the house without looking back. And a few days later... I left the United <gasps> States for the only destination that had any Where'd she go? to me. Farewell, my dear Lenny. Dana. Where did she well, go? I she didn't say. I understand human emotions. I thought you would be happy to have the proof at last that Dana Rose is your ancestor. What if she is the I've lady totally in the guest house? That strange old lady who helped me play my piece on mom's birthday. She was my grandma. Hmm. So, what are we going to do now? Well, I don't there. know, Oscar. I really don't know. I know I should feel happy to come to the end of this adventure. I found freedom. I kept my promise to Katyusha and discovered a fascinating part of my mother's past kept secret until now i feel like if she was here she would have visited lenny though but it makes no difference to the guilt i feel over my mom's passing unless she found out about or the void 
I feel the betrayal, but death. I don't think so. Maybe if I had met Dana in person. But that's impossible now. The last trace of Dana I have is this letter. And it's... It's over 20 years old. And hmm. besides... Dana implies she left for an unknown destination. What if she's the like detective? A hiding place. <laughs> Old granny detective. For the end of a life that no longer held any meaning for her. She could be anywhere. That's if she's still alive at all. Yeah. It would be like looking for a needle in a haystack. So she left America. So, I don't know, Oscar. I really don't know anymore. Where do we look? What's the next step? There's only one thing left to do, Oscar. What everyone has been expecting me to do since I jumped on the train with Hans. Just be reasonable and return to New York. Hmm. There's an end to everything, Oscar. Isn't there? No, oh, her ticket. Expires ticket. I feel like she's about to, she's gonna be about to leave and then see something. Or do you think we're gonna get a cliffhanger ending? That's the train to the airport. Call Olivia? Fuck no. <laughs> Hate her. <laughs> My carriage number. This ticket will take me to the International Airport of Wagen and from there, back to New York. I should find a phone to call Olivia before I take the shuttle. Uh. Given all the trouble waiting for me in New York, I'm going to need all the help I can get. Three. This is the right carriage, but the door's still shut. Please present your ticket. Not yet. Ho ho. There are other things to look at. That's my shuttle. Once it's taken me to the airport, I'll just use the ticket for New York that Olivia sent me, and that'll be the end of Won't my Won't you voyage. get arrested as soon as you land? Go down. <laughs> Escape. Ugh. Your telephone. Oy vey. Oh, well, what do you know? I'm out of money. <laughs> ah, dang it. <laughs> Slap Olivia. <laughs> Prove innocence. Slap Olivia. <laughs> well, maybe she's going to be nicer. I'm just saying, but I doubt it. Olivia, it's me. What do you want, Kate? Didn't we say everything last time? You were right, Olivia. I've been chasing moonbeams ever since my mom died. But I found my grandmother. Your grandmother? But Kate, she died years ago in New York. No, I mean my real grandmother. <laughs> Never mind. It's a long story. I'll explain everything when I get back. Oh, you mean... Yes, I'm flying back to New York. That's wonderful, Kate. I better tell Mr. Canton. He's still on your case, you know. The police will probably be waiting for you at the Dude airport. Dude in the back is contemplating the coffee he dropped. I'm sure he'll be able to help. Maybe he can persuade Marson and Larmont to drop the charges. 
Okay, thanks. That would be a relief. I, I gotta go. Man stealing uh, The airport shuttle's about to leave. <laughs> yes, yes, go ahead. We'll meet you at JFK. I'm proud of you, Kate. You've made the right decision. That's nice. Olivia? Yes? I don't I think she's the one who should apologize actually <sighs> listen I I'm I'm truly sorry for everything that's happened since I left New York it's just that I just had to get away I needed a change of life to be free it was like a calling and now that I've been following that calling for the past few years I realized that I'm not the person I thought I was back in New York. I am that strange person who jumps from train to train, a traveler without a destination, just like that old shaman once called me. What are you talking about? Which shaman? It doesn't matter now. I guess what really counts is that I have no regrets about being my true self over these past years. But do you really? So she's saying know, sorry, Olivia. not sorry. <laughs> I know I've hurt people while going through this, this journey. My mom, Dan, you. I know that. And I'm so sorry, Olivia, for all the hurt I've caused you personally. Thank you, but Kate. Then she it doesn't good to hear it. With the and, well, you know what? I'm starting to like this new Kate. Listen, I, I'd better go now, Olivia. I'll I'll call you if I can from the airport once I've got a flight. Yes, yes, you'd better get going. You take care, Kate. Okay, you too. Bye now. Talk later. Mm. I don't like it. Ugh. Are we really just gonna leave? What the? I guess I have to use it to set the day. I should set the month here. What is it? Like a commemorative thing? The default setting on the dials shows the wrong date. What are we doing? Uh, is it, should I just put in today? What month is it? I guess I have to use it to set the day. The default setting on the dials shows the wrong date. Ticket 3011. Oh. Whoa. Mm hmm Wait, did I just grab it again? Hmm. Looks like there's something. Oh, scary. Oh, that should not be unsupervised. I can see kids just puncturing their hand. Oh, ink and bush. Okay. I guess I did it. I don't know what I did, but I did it. What 
was that? The deportation trains left Wagen from this station during the Second World War. Oh. How many lives did those brown shadow barbarians destroy? Is there any justice for those who were massacred? Is that it? Saying goodbye to Wagen is harder than I thought. Mm, I've only been a here nice a few town. days, and yet, now that I know how much this place is linked to my own history, I feel attached to it. Mm. Okay, I think it's time to go. Can I pass you? Sorry, excuse me. Um, a ticket? No idea how this works. He reads it? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> cool. Nice. Boom, 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 boom. I'm so sad that we never found Dana, though. Give it a second. It's a big moment. <laughs> okay, go. <laughs> I keep thinking something is gonna happen and she's gonna like last second ditch <laughs> he's so cute <laughs> you look sad Kate Walker the train will be leaving soon Olivia sent me a plane ticket for New York what if Forget it. So, is this really the end of the journey? Yes, Oscar. My carriage number. This ticket will take me to the International Airport of Wagen and from there, back to New York. Mm, no smoking. I feel like she's gonna see something. <gasps> Baltair. Oh, there's a train to Baltair. You can get it. You can just get on. Hit your right. I would definitely do it. <laughs> Screw Olivia. <laughs> Travel. <laughs> Go to Baltair. Tempting. Tempting. That's all they ever talked about. How they were going to live over there after the war, along with Ludwig and his tribe. She went all the way to Wagen for a drawing. She can go to Baltiar to s possibly see her grandma, or see at least where her grandma ended up. 
Come on, do it. You gotta do it. Screw Olivia. She's a peach anyway. I left the United States for the only destination that had any meaning for me. Farewell, my dear Lenny. Come on. The only destination that had any meaning. Kate Walker is everything all. I know where she is, Oscar. I know where Dana went after she left America. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Do it. Oscar, we gotta go. Anyone not going to the airport is kindly asked to Go, 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 go. Can she make it? Is she gonna jump on? Oh my god. Oh, there she goes. Hell yeah! Come on, you can make it! Jump! Oh my god! Who that? Ah! Loving! Is he gonna look for her too? Oh, he's gonna go back home. That makes sense. Going home. What about Demoiselle Lenny? Dip in. <laughs> Lenny's gone. Oh. In her sleep. She died? Too much guilt. Too much sorrow. Mm. Oh. I uh -oh. took her in the mountain with Leon. They're together now. What mm. about you, Kate Walker? I'm going back home too. In a way. Oh my god, I really hope that they find each other. Oh my god, can you imagine? Grief accomplished. I need an epilogue where they meet each other. If there's gonna be an entire game about her finding her grandma... God. Are we not gonna know what happens? <sighs> we have to wait for... Wait, so now we... This game came out last month and now we have to wait for part four? Five? This is four. So we might have to wait like two years at least. The main creator died, yeah, of the franchise. The person who made one and one and two and three. God, I can't wait to. Learn. It was such a good story. I'm so blown away. We have to play the other games too. We should like start with one. Play one, two, three. I know three is people generally don't really like it, but I definitely we should play the other games. This was so good. Yeah, I've heard really good things from 1 and 2. People say 1 and 2 are awesome, and then 3 was really weak, was a weak one, and then 4 was good again. Like, 4 kind of, like, restored people's trust in the franchise. Because I, I remember I wanted to jump in on 3 when it came out, but then the reviews were like, no, this game is awful, and I kind of just, like, <laughs> took my hands off, you know? I was like, eh, I'll just not play it then. Uh, but then this one came out, and it had good reviews, so I was like, ah, oh, I really want to, like, Dip my dip my little toes in, and uh, dip my toes into Siberia. So I'm so glad we finally did. This is so worth it. It's so good. Oh, that's it. Please give me post credits. <sighs> I need it. I need post credits. Please, I'm just a baby. No, it's over. Fuck. Now we have to wait. <sighs> God, that sucks. How much time was between 3 and 4? Siberia 3 came out 2017. No! Oh my God, that means we could be waiting five years for the, for the sequel. Five years? Wait, I'll be 38? <laughs> I might have a baby of my own by the time the sequel comes out. <laughs> That's 
such a weird thought. I'll be 38. Jeez. 